Hey guys, it's Forsaken Reality here with the 41st episode of the RPG tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be starting our environment setup. So we'll be looking at setting up our weather system and our day and night cycle. We'll also look into setting up our landscape. Um, I was going to create a landscape material, but then I, I found this free asset in the marketplace. That's really, really nice. It's better than anything that I would have been able to create since I don't have uh, too much time put into creating complex materials and landscape materials and all that. So we're going to be using this asset right here. You want to just search for landscape material in the marketplace. And over here, click free. And we get this one right here. And you want to download that. Just going to open it in the launcher. Oops. And once you download it, you want to add it to your project. And you can pause the video here while that's adding to the project. It might take a minute. I think it's two gigabytes or something like that. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when that's finished. We have that downloaded. We can head into our project. And we'll still have this right here. I'm just going to move my test project out of the way here. First thing we're going to do is delete any tiles that you have in there. And I'm going to, you want to go into modes, landscape. And I'm going to take out of the layers and create. So now you have your landscape created. You want to go back to your content browser and go to STF, environment. Landscape. Um, I was just thinking about it. I was going to rename this. I might rename this whole folder to um, landscape material. But I might not because it has other things in there like foliage. So I might go through another video of organizing this. Uh, you want to turn off the landscape mode. Select your landscape. And you'll notice I have this landscape material right here. And we're going to use the ML Landscape Pro V2 Open World demo. That one seems to be the best one. It has a lot of editable, la editable layers in it. So you want, to, you want to right click it and that will uh, compile any shaders that you might need to compile. I'm just going to quickly look at this. And yeah, I think I'm going to use this one. So just drag that over and you'll notice your landscape is black. We want to go to our landscape. Paint. In our modes. And we'll just want to select our layers for each one of these. I'm going to select the first one. I'm not sure why there's two. And there are a lot of paintable layers in this material, as you can see. And you'll notice that if you use your scroll wheel, you actually can't make it down to the bottom. You want to actually grab this bar and pull it down. It's a little weird. And once you have all your landscape layers in, final one is the third one for the seven. Download 
you'll have this right here. I'm just gonna, you can adjust your brush, brush size and strength here or here. I'm just gonna adjust my size. I'm gonna keep it like this for now. And I'm gonna set my strength to one so that it will paint the landscape a lot faster. And I'm gonna select my layer three or layer three with no plants, just so I can make a cleared out area. Wait for my shaders to compile. And I'm gonna just draw some dirt. Color out an area. And you'll notice that the grass is on specific layers and the rocks are on specific layers. So if you go to layer one, I'm going to adjust the size down some. You paint with the grass layer, you'll notice that you'll, it'll also make some grass there. But there's a no plants layer and there's also a puddles layer. Puddles layer will basically just create grassy puddles. And you turn the strength down so a lot of nice you can blend it nicer and you can just play around with these and see what each layer does I always like to go back with my original layer and do some touch-ups just to make it look a little better and yeah, make a little swampy lands with the puddles We're also look into a weather system and part of that will also be a uh, water blueprint with a with that with uh, freezing water so we won't need to use this for our deep puddles or anything like that and we'll also look into things like footsteps so that we walk on dirt, grass, and mud, it'll have different footsteps, uh, sounds, and particles as well. Um, you know, there's some other foliage, like broken trees and stuff like that. Some of these layers have a few different things in them, like you paint with This one will have a few different types of grass in it. Some of them have trees, I think, as well. And some like bigger bushes and stuff, depending on what you paint with. And the way this works basically is, uh, I'll look, just gotta try to find those, uh, it's not material functions. I believe that it's these, yes. So if you look through these, you have your grass variants. And you can set up each one. You can set the density and calling distance, which is how far. If you hover over it, how far it'll be faded out. Density will be how thick it'll be on the landscape. You can set different meshes in, in here. These look to be for a lot of bushes and trees and rocks. And yeah, there's a lot of these different ones. Probably for the main grass layer by the looks of it. Um, now we're we'll just gonna look into the landscape. There's also a lot of settings here that you can adjust all the materials to your own. If you have your own materials, change colors and things like that that you can play with. I'm just looking for the, uh, I'm 
looking for how exact where exactly I know it's somewhere in these materials where they're set up can't exactly find it right now you'll have to do some playing around with these to see which ones are for what and you can adjust them and remove different things add different meshes so you have some of your own I'll probably show you how to import and change different meshes in a future video And you, you can also go into your landscape and you can sculpt it and it should be an auto material. Yeah. See how it automatically gives you the rock layer. And I control Z so that caused a problem there. Don't think that it's visible in game. Yeah, there's no grass like that visible in game. You just need to rebuild or paint with one of the layers under it no yeah i'm not too sure i'm pretty sure you just rebuild i'm going to rebuild so you want to build um it might not be rebuilding um i'm not too sure i'm gonna pause and figure this out yeah, I just reloaded the project and it quickly fixed that, but I'm pretty sure that the that you could just that it has something to do with the grass maps or something not being built. So you could, if you had to build the map, it would have it would have fixed that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have their landscape tool in. It's automatically setting pipe maps for the rocks and stuff. And if you want to paint, you can always come in here and look through the materials and test them out on different things. That obviously doesn't look good, but that's going to be everything for this episode. Or actually, no, 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 no. There's one more. Actually, yeah, that's good. That's going to be everything for this episode. I'll do that in the weather system episode next, because that will make more sense then. Um, if you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on, on any new tutorial video uploads. If you have any, co any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my Discord community using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next episode.